In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. As now we're going to light uh, the two candles of Advent, and we're going to continue the second part of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. That's on page 39, number 39, verse 2. Merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain our admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and by his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together, with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors, together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox, the baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse, set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Lord, I 
every nation on earth. We'll adore you, O God, Lord, every nation on earth. We'll adore you, Lord, every nation on earth. We'll adore you. justice on every one. For you govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with righteousness. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, O God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in your days, and peace till the moon be no more. May your kingdom reach from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, O God, Lord, every nation on earth. We'll adore you, for you shall rescue the poor when they cry out, and the afflicted when help can't be found. You shall raise up the lowly and the poor, and those on high shall be cast down. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Oh God, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one voice Glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another then as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warns you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear the threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Good evening, everyone. There is a story about Satan who complains to God. He said, you are unfair, because so many sinners do wrong and you take them back. You always welcome them. I make only one mistake, and you condemn me forever. So this is not fair. Then God replied, Hey, Satan, do you ever repent for your sins? Or do you ever ask me for the forgiveness of your sins? Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the second week of Advent. In the second week of Advent, we listen to John the Baptist invitation. Prepare the way of the Lord. The church invites us to repentance. Metanoia. The Greek word metanoia means change of heart. Change of heart. Metanoia is a biblical term for repentance or complete change of heart, which turns one away from sin to serve the living God and live differently from the rest. In the Old Testament, the prophets called for a conversion that will turn people away from idolatry and from a merely superficial practice of religious religion to live in fidelity to God's law and their social 
responsibilities. In the gospel today, John the Baptist and then later Jesus himself preach a radical change of heart as demanded by the coming of God's kingdom. That is why the baptism of John the Baptist is called a baptism for repentance. A great saint once said, there is no holiness without repentance, for we begin in sin and move to holiness by repentance alone. The words repent, repentant or repentance are mentioned over a hundred times in the Bible. There has been a lot of misunderstanding and confusion over what the word repentant means. It is referring to a truly God-given, spirit-led change of heart and mind. We repent when we genuinely believed that we have been wrong and that God is right about the matter. Therefore, repenting is turning. Repenting is change. Repenting is living differently. That is why in today's gospel, John the Baptist beautifully announces, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And during these four weeks of Advent season, we are told to prepare ourselves for Christ's coming at Christmas by renewal of our lives. So it is a season of conversion and repentance, a time to live out the message of John the Baptist. Looking at the nature of true repentance, there will be three things to occur as God does a work of grace upon us. The first is conviction where sin is admitted. We must see ourselves as lost, guilty, desperately wicked sinners without hope or help and in danger of hell. In repentance, we not only see ourselves as sinners, but we recognize the fact that we have sinned against a righteous and holy God. The message that St. Paul said in the Acts of the Apostles 2021, 20, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. The second one is contrition, contrition, where sin is hated. When we see ourselves as we appear before God, we are brought to a place where there is godly sorrow for our sins and hate them all together. To hate sin is to love God. In true, in true repentance, there is not only the desire to escape the consequences of sin, but to be, get, to be rid of sin itself as a thing displeasing to God. The third is conversion, where sin is abundant. Repentance involves the forsaking of sin. It should be stressed that it is not enough just to turn away from sin. We must also turn to God for salvation. Therefore, my dear friends in Christ, 
let us reform, change, repent. Let us change our lives and turn away from sin. And let's say, I'm sorry, and walk with it. Do it, and let's do it now. Tomorrow may be too late. Now is the acceptable time because the kingdom of God is at hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Visible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made, God substantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us humbly present our prayers and petitions to the Lord with faith and trust. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, may the Holy Spirit continue to draw them closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Prince of Peace guide them in pursuing peace and understanding in times of conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may God's grace make this season a time of renewal and blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially Tim Titchener, Becky Roach, and those in today's bulletin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they see the face of Christ in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Dolores Williams, who is remembered in this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for your goodness, blessings, and graces. Please graciously hear and listen to the prayers and petitions of your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We prepare for Eucharist with number 46 in the Breaking Bread. Number 46, we'll do verses 1, 3, and 5, and we'll begin with the refrain. A voice cries out in the wilderness, out in the wilderness make straight 
be to the heart of Jerusalem. The time of your mourning is ended now. The Lord of life will come. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare a way for the Lord. A voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight a highway for God. A voice shall cry, O what shall I cry? All flesh is like grass and its flowers. The grass may wither, the flowers may fade, but the word of the Lord is forever. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare a way of the Lord. A voice cries out in the wilderness, make straight a shepherd, holding his lambs in his arms, keeping his flock so close to his heart, leading them all old and young. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare a way for the cries out in the wilderness, make straight a highway for God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For, for our good, good and the good of all his holy, holy church. church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, Come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, 
and all is at last make manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are in it holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all these rests as with a way the blessed hope in the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words and my soul shall be healed. This is Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us in this sacrament, come receive him, adore him, this is Jesus.
This is Jesus, Emmanuel, God is with us in this sacrament. Come receive him, adore him. This is Jesus. Number 616, like a shepherd on 616.
as we wait for you. Give us the strength to walk in your truth, so we may love more like you and ready the way for you, Lord. Ready the way, ready the way, ready the way. Two announcements. The Feast of the Immaculate Conception is this Thursday, December 8. It is a holy day of obligation, and Mass times are 8.30 a.m., noon, and 6.30 p.m. Also, the Men's Club Casino Night is this coming Saturday, December 10, and tickets will be on sale in the narthex. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Today. We're going to use number 58. Number 58 is a new tune. You just have to do it loud enough to figure it out. Number 58, Emmanuel. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God, appear. Heaven and earth rejoice, salvation is drawing near, salvation is drawing near. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that once in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appear. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God appear. Heaven and earth rejoice, salvation is drawing near, salvation is drawing near. Oh, come, O oh wisdom from on high, who ordered all things mightily, the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. Come, come, Emmanuel, Son of God, appear. Heaven and earth rejoice, salvation is drawing near, salvation is drawing near.